is working with some students. Let's go see what they're up to. Hi, Kara. Hi, how are you, Dr. Dahlman? I'm great, how are you? We are just working at one of our bedside skills stations, um, and we're working with students who would be in their first semester of nursing classes, which is really a, a sophomore level student. So our students today, we were talking about kind of how to assess the patient and if there's any safety concerns they noticed as they first walked up. So as you can see, having these eight hospital skill stations all around the room gives lots of hands-on practice time for our students. And these mannequins are much more than mannequins. They are actually high fidelity simulators. So we can have uh, students practice their psychomotor skills and get immediate feedback on whether their assessment findings are accurate. For example, if we were palpitating a pulse on this patient, it has active pulse we can have students take a blood pressure finding and they can know if they're getting accurate findings. And the blood pressure would then show here. And we have a nice control station that Kara is holding on to that can actually change the parameters and change what the students are seeing on the screen. And it allows us in real time to assess whether learning is occurring. Um, and we can ask students questions about the changes they're seeing on the monitor. Sorry. I didn't understand. <laughs> you can see uh, that our, our simulators will talk and interact with their um, students. So if I notice that uh, my students are kind of working hard on a skill but not attending to the emotional or, or the, um, the kind of the, the personal interaction with the patient, I might be able to cue them to talk to their patient as they're practicing their skills. I feel like it will prepare me for being able to find the heart and lung sounds, being able to do head to toe assessments. I think that it's great that we'll be able to come down here and work on our skills. This lab will help us definitely build our confidence because one of my biggest fears about graduating is definitely having to have somebody else's lives in my hands just because it's kind of scary but I'm really excited for it because this will really prepare me for that. A lot of times we hear from students the fear of also IV starts and interacting with real live patients and one of the great things about these models is that they also have uh, the ability for us to take IV fluids and start IVs and monitor those fluids so that you can have the practice here before you go into your clinicals and other real world scenarios. What we're really excited about is that it's going to become kind of an open lab space too. So it's going to be open in evening and weekend hours. So what that means is that um, if there's a skill that you want a little bit more practice on um, or just the chance to come and to work on some case studies with your peers, this becomes that kind of hub of, of practice for you and for your peers. 